D2DNY Real World HVAC Simplified and now in this video I'll be doing a condenser coil cleaning up there okay so here's what's going on so I got my hoses right here got some ropes to pull up my equipments all right got my ladder set up already got my pressure washer got my got my chemical okay and this is a box sprayer so that I use works beautiful and um, this is going to spray the chemical on the coil got some hoses got my uh, my cheaters so I'm going to be cheating power from the service disconnect this unit is 28 volts 28 single phase so i'm going to take one line with ground and it's going to power my my pressure washer right here and i got my meter because that's going to be able to test to make sure i'm getting 110 or 120 and i'm not getting uh i'm not getting sometimes you have a stinger leg and then like one line to ground is like 200 volts something weird like that and it's going to fry your equipment so always check and of course, I'm gonna need this to take the fan out, the condenser fan motor out. All right, so stay tuned. Ah, oh. all right, so I'm up on, I am up on the roof right now. Oh. Wow, that's crazy. So I gotta rope up my pump, my pressure washer. Gotta rope it up on the roof. As you can see, man. All right, so there it is. Okay, these are already up here. It's gonna walk over. Here is the unit. It's cooling pretty nice. Uh, so there's the water coming out of it right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and give it a cleaning. The condenser right here. Now this part needs to be fixed too. Like, what's going on here? Look at this. I have to let the client know that. This ain't gonna make it. This needs to be extended. That's dangerous. All right, but here it is. It's currently running. I'm gonna be removing this, removing this motor. These are 516 screws that's holding it down. All right, so I'm gonna remove it. And then I'm gonna clean it from the inside. That's the best way to do it. All right, or perhaps not. Maybe I won't remove the motor because I could probably go from here. I'll see. Whichever way is the easier, the easier way, that's what I'll do. All right, so stay tuned. Let me get set up. Now, before I get everything connected, I want to show you guys my setup here, right? So, this pressure washer, Greenworks, it's not a commercial pressure washer. But it gets the job done and it's reliable. I have I have had this for what uh, about three years now, still going. So this is Amazon.com, Greenworks. If you're interested, um, this piece also, the short nozzle, didn't come with it, right? It's like I said, this is not a commercial pressure washer. Um, this didn't come with it. This I bought separate. All right, and this I also bought separate. This can snap right into here. It's like a quick, quick connect, right? Snaps right into there. And this swivels, you know what I'm saying? If you got like tight space, you gotta put your pressure washer at an angle. Uh, this one does that for you, right? Or I could just put my tips straight into it like that. So uh, I don't remember if, if, um, if it came with some tips like this on the original handle that comes with the Greenworks. I don't recall. However, you can also buy these tips because um, I have several tips in the back here that I had purchased. You know what I mean? You can buy them, you know, separately on Amazon as well. Okay, boom. Um, also, so this is this is the generic hose that comes with it. Um, this hose, you can see, is very long, right? This hose is very long. 
like it's really long it's probably about 15 feet or so this hose i don't believe that this hose came with this greenworks but it was a similar hose shorter but similar and um this piece is adapter quick release or quick release adapter i bought as well from amazon and this piece right here the original handle that came with the greenworks would go in here and then this part here goes in here like that like so you know what i'm saying um so the, the original greenworks handle would fit right here but i didn't want this i wanted something like this more of a commercial setting commercial type and so i bought this adapter that fits perfect and like i said all this is on amazon in here and so i can just use this quick release all right so yeah if you like this setup you know give that a thumbs up in the uh in the uh, in the like give this video a like and, and and give it a give it a give it a like this setup in the comment section if you're a pro or even do it yourself or this is a pretty cool pressure wash and it's reliable all right um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and put everything together set it up and then i'm gonna come back with the hoses and everything hooked up to it and then we're gonna go forward but before i do that i want you to go ahead and subscribe if you are not subscribed and smash that bell icon because when i upload videos like these you get them at you get them right away like right away instantaneously now if you really want to know if you're if you're a do-it-yourselfer you're not a pro if you really want to know the why is it, why is it important to keep your coils clean your condenser coils or your outdoor unit coils clean and even though sometimes it looks clean it doesn't mean it's actually clean because in between the fins in between these fins these are very thin they're very thin and pollens and debris get clogged caught in between and whenever that happens your system does not perform efficiently meaning that um, the system runs at a higher pressure and um, because it's, it's running at a higher pressure it's drawing more hams right so it's drawing more hams amperage to do the same provided with the same amount of cooling it ain't providing uh, with any more cooling it's just costing you more or drawing more amperage to do so and by drawing more hams uh, it's going to impact your electric bill so it's going to your cost per operation or for operation is going to be higher in the summertime especially when it's hot if your coils aren't super clean so i would say that you should keep your coils clean even if it looks clean just have it done anyway because the money you're going to pay for that it will pay off in the end also with higher amperage from the unit or higher amperage the compressor is working harder and um, that's going to be like it's going to shorten it's more wear and tear and it's going to shorten the life of your compressor and it's going to cost you lots and lots of money to replace your compressor lots of lots of headaches when it goes down in the middle of the summer all right so keep your coils clean so let me go set up i'll be back and remember if you like this video um give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed subscribe i do do upload videos on a on a weekly basis stay tuned now one thing i want to point out if you're going to clean your unit or clean your coil whether it be the condenser coil slash outdoor coil um our outdoor unit outdoor unit coil you want to turn your power off to the, the main disconnect off boom that's off right now so i just want to show you that guys all right so you see i have my cheaters and i'm i've already measured all three line to ground chassis ground anywhere that's ground this panel does not ever have, have a ground wire which is i don't know why not because it should have a ground wire but it doesn't have a ground wire but you know the chassis the casing of the equipment is already grounded right so when i checked through to a ground i was getting um 120 as you could see so i've checked all three lines to ground so any one any e either one of these line l1 l2 l3 because it's a three-phase unit you could have used so i just choose i just chose the one on the corner right here i don't know if you can see i'm clamped my cheers is clamped onto that all right and this right here is literally pro level stuff right so if you i wouldn't recommend this for if you're a do-it-yourselfer don't even bother get an extension card run it downstairs and plug it into the outlet once again i repeat if you're a do-it-yourselfer this will kill you all right stay away from this don't do this only for pros pros this is a, this is pros only um do it yourselfer if you're doing it yourself run an extension cord plug it downstairs in a in a what you call it in an, in an outlet all right to be safe but i have this thing secured right here secured 
right? And you know, that's my outlet ready, ready to go. 120 volts power. All right, so just need my water right now. It's gonna go down and get my water hooked up. All right, so I'm pretty much set up here. Here is a uh, the nozzle I was telling you about. You see these swivels? It turns at an angle like that's 45 degrees. All right, it goes straight. Or if I don't need that, because this creates some more restrictions, so you get a little bit of perform, a little bit less performance at the tip once you're using this piece. So you know, I could just if I'm just gonna do like a straight clean. Right, and I don't need to have any angle to my work or my washing. I just um, just unplug this, like so. Just pop it. Just pull this back. It's a quick release. Quick release. Pull that, and that comes right out like though. It's all quick release. Quick release right here too. Same thing. I said all this I picked up at Amazon, right? Boom. I love this thing. All right, so stay tuned. Okay, so apparently inside it won't work, as you could see. That panel, that panel is off, so we're going to have to go from the top. So I've already started removing these 516 screws. You know, this is going to happen. I'm removing the motor. I think I've got them all. Yeah, this thing lifts up. Just got to make sure that you be careful. You don't bend the blade in the process because once this blade is out of alignment it's done you got to replace the blade you can never re-straighten it so you got to be careful of that when you lift it out all right just peel it back you'll see all right so there you go the motor is out the sun is setting <laughs> all right motor is out the coil is exposed you can see from the inside you got you have access to all of it all of it all right, here it is. Okay, so now you just spray your chemicals and then you just pressure wash it from the inside out and from the outside in. All right, if you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. Let me spray this right here so you can see how it works. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let all the air out first, prime it. So this is, this is with the machine off. I'm just priming it. Because you know there's air in the line. This, this hose is up 75 feet. So I want you to get, get all the air out. And then you just turn it on. It builds pressure. See? Nice stream, nice flow. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray some water in the coil. Some water in the coil first. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it wet. And this is where the swivel tip comes in because I could angle it, put it at an angle. And I could, my coil, all right? I love this, I love this washer. Dope. All right, now my coil is wet. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my chemical. But I mean, the rest is pretty much straightforward, guys. I don't have to. You don't have to watch. I don't have to record the remainder of it. The rest is pretty much straightforward. Um, spray the chemical, leave it for a few minutes, let it work, do its thing, and then you just rinse it down. Just when you're doing it, do not spray the pressure across the grain like like this, like this angle, because you're gonna break down the fence. You have to do it in the same row as the fence, so you don't bend them down. All right, that's important. Yeah, so. That's pretty much it. I'm going to wrap this video up. 13 minutes. If you like it, like I said, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Also, if you're on the roof, guys, make sure you tie your ladder off. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, the sun is setting. I'm going to finish this. Beautiful. I'm on the roof. I'm going to finish this job another 20, 30 minutes or so. And get off the roof before it's getting dark. Okay. Again, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Give this video a like.